Right, a discontinued operation is a component of an entity. I think I gave an example. It could be a department uh, or subsidiary, technically. Um, so it's a full-on operation with existing assets and liabilities and making revenue and uh, having its own related expenses. Um, so discontinued operation is a component of an entity that has been either disposed of or is now classified as held for sale and represents a separate major line of business or geographical area of operation and it is part of a single coordinated plan um, to dispose or 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 a separate major line of business like i said or geographical area so it's just that when i say department depending whether you're talking functional areas or functional organizational structures or divisional structures key point is that the manchester the entire operation in manchester that sort of thing or in london or in birmingham or in leeds or it's a subsidiary acquired exclusively with the view to resell with the view to resell um yeah so again like i said here we want to show this separately we want to show the operations separately because we're making decisions based on continuing continuing operations so an entity must disclose a single amount on the face of the statement of profit or loss comprising so i said like i said earlier on a single amount comprising of the um uh, statement of profit comprising of the post-tax profit or loss from discontinued, discontinued operations and the gain or loss which you saw me do already um, when it comes to us disposing of that um, operation, if you like. So an, an analysis of this single amount must be presented either in the, well, of course, a breakdown of the disclosure notes always show everything. We must really literally kind of do a, almost like a mini set of accounts showing the revenue and the expenses and the assets and the liabilities so that we can clearly see because you're all you're doing is showing a single amount all you're doing is showing a single amount on the statement of financial position sorry on the statement of profit or loss aren't you yes okay great so again it must disclose the revenue expenses pre-tax profits or loss of discontinued operations any related income tax expenses gain or loss recognized on the measurement um, um to fair value and the disposal, so just whatever the, your, whatever, basically what your double entry was on disposal, right? So you had X, you had Y, and you would have had a loss. Um, I'll call that A. That's your loss on disposal. A. Right. Right, great. So let's look at TYU2. I've had to actually do a, um, I've done a um, Word document because it's a bit, it's a bit of a long, when I say a long one, it's it's just a bit, it didn't, it couldn't all fit onto a, um, onto a um, PowerPoint slide. Right, I think I need to save that first. Let's see, save that. Okay, let's close that. Let's go in and open it. TYU. Right, um, file. Oops, sorry. Let me see, I'm looking for draw. Usually let me write on this Okay, that's fine. One second. Let's do it another way, since you won't allow me to do that. One second. Let's shut this down again. Let's open this up again. Alright, one more is I have an idea. Let's save it very quickly. Let's do this again. Sorry about this. Let's save it as a PDF, then we have absolutely no issues here. Let's stop. Right, yes, this way there's no drama. So um, what we have here is this business St. Valentine's produces um, cards and roses. So however, halfway through the year end, um, 31st of March, the rose business was closed and the assets were sold off. So roses come to an end, discontinued operation, incurring losses on the disposal. So they're giving you the loss on disposal. You don't have to actually do it. Um, of 76,000 and redundancy costs of 37. So, um, so these are related to the, these are costs that are related to this disposal. Right. And then it tells us, gives us some more information that the directors reorganize the continuing business at a cost of 98. Right. So, so this is the end. This business has come to an end and this is to do with discontinued. So we should be able to find what the profit or loss is from con discontinued operations on its own. And these relate, it tells us this relate to, so usually pause this and have a go. Uh, the trading information relates to continuing. So let's just look at this situation with the discontinued. So we have 320, of course, for roses, and 150, 90, and 110 
altogether as um, related core expenses for roses. And so that you have um, this is two four, um, this is two forty. Three fifty, isn't it? So that's three hundred and fifty um, there as your expense, and therefore you have an overall trading loss of thirty. So that's the first thing. So you, I mean, you, you you disclose this in the notes. This breakdown, of what, this this breakdown of what I've just done. But that's sort of the closing amount, a loss of thirty. What else do we have here? We also have the loss on the disposal. So loss on the disposal of the actual assets of seventy six, and some relevant the um, redundancy costs as well, that wouldn't have gone through the expense here. They're just sort of separating. Out. It could have been if you know, but you're just separating out clearly what that is. So this is the full. Um, amount of loss relating to rows and so 30 plus 76 plus 37 is equal to 341 143,000 so we need to sort of write this on its own separate line after we have done everything else that helps us make decisions about the future writing loss on discontinued operations so what we now do is just do the do do the actual um look for the situation with um with the um continuing operations and then literally we are preparing accounts as we normally do we would have of course revenue of 650 and you would have the cost of sales of 320 and you would have your gp as usual 03 um 3 and then of course you will have your you will take your operating expenses get all that out of the way that's 60 and then that's 120 so of course you now have um, operating profit um yeah so you would have this is 180 isn't it this is 180 zero zero 13 minus 8 here is 5 and then you have 150 and then of course um i will take away my um, finance costs and then i'll take then i'll get my profit before tax and then i'll take away my tax of 31 and then I'll take away my 98, because I'm going to take it to the answer now. Take away my 98, and therefore I'll arrive at my profit from continuing operations. And then I'll take this off. So just because of time, I'm, I'm just take you there, show you what the answers um, look like. Really, just to sort of so you can see what's going on. Yeah, I mean, it's really just laying everything out carefully. Gross profit, take off those two, operating profit, reorg. Of course, yes, I should have taken off reorg after operating profit. Um, and then finance costs, profit before tax, and then profit for the year. Yeah, and then you have this continued operations and you have total loss for the year. So pretty straight. Um, and that's how we deal with that. It'd be interesting to see. You could get, I, I imagine you could get a little bit here in section B um, where you have a small scenario. You have to play around with it. But that's kind of the way you, you, you do that. Cool, great stuff. And that's the end of chapter five.